Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a uh, quick little video uh, because a lot of people are, you know, I see it with my clients, a lot of people are baffled at their keyboard and what they can actually do with their keyboard, how to use certain characters, especially, you know, like here in, in Canada, especially in the province of Quebec, we have French language, there's of course the English language for the rest of Canada, and usually the companies will ship us laptops and keyboards that have like everything on it and you just need to set your keyboard right. One of the things that is important that a lot of people don't know and that's going to be today's subject is that function key, the FN key. This is a key that activates all sorts of features that are unique to each machine. But that FN key is there because it will help you do stuff. For example, at the top row here, I've got a lot of little things that can happen on these keys. And if I actually, and by the way, don't look at how much dust there's on this keyboard because it's probably horrible, especially close up. So, and with a cat, it's worse. You know, there's like cat hair everywhere. Uh, for example, here, I show you that I have these little suns. What, does they, what do they do? Well, let's go back to the screen here. And I'll press the FN key and the little suns, and you'll see the effect. The FN key with the down pointing arrow as you see, look how it dims my screen. The up pointing arrow actually makes it brighter. That's one of the things that a lot of people don't know. You can adjust your screen brightness. So that icon is pretty much universal. If you look on your keyboard, because it can be placed at different spots, depending on the company, the manufacturer of your computer, this is at a different place, uh, depending on where, uh, what company or what brand your laptop is. But every laptop has this. If you're on a desktop, don't search for those. A desktop computer's screen is independent and the brightness is on the screen, not through the keyboard. Uh, another thing, the sound or the volume. Now, some have it in little speakers so if we go close once again, mine are the little, uh, you know, the little like up and down pointing, um, you know, it's kind of a, it's a weird icon. It's, it, it, it really is there to say, well, it's sound more or less sound. And that's what they decided to do with this. <clears throat> and most of the computers I've seen have speaker icons, a little bit like the, the key that's right here. So you have, of course, once again, if I press this key, what you'll see here is on my corner of my screen. I'm gonna go here a little, so look at the corner of the screen. You will see that the volume will go down and up. So look at these little slider type uh, icons or look for icons that look like little speakers and with your function keys this will make the volume higher or lower and you won't have to go into Windows itself to do that and to set that. And you've noticed when I showed you the little keys I showed you that there was a little icon with speakers. These are the mute volume and open volume so if I press it I mute and you see the little X appear there if I press it again, it's back in the volume. So, you know, these are all little functions that are available on every computer. And I mean every computer. So that's very important because a lot of people don't know this. And they end up with not really using all the functionalities of their keyboard. One last thing, some computers, like for example, this Toshiba, I am right now pressing the function key to do that. But by default, when I bought it, you 
had these functions work without the function key. Actually using the function key was to use the F keys. So some computers are reversed and sometimes you have to press a function key to have that working, sometimes you don't. And one last thing that a lot of people don't know and that often happens, people call me up and say, hey, I don't have Wi-Fi search for that little antenna like on your keyboard that little antenna is the Wi-Fi switch it also works with the FN key or function key of course it can be reversed like on my Toshiba it can work right out of the box without having the function key pressed a lot of the times people accidentally will by typing touch this and what it does is that this will turn on or off Wi-Fi and that is important to know because a lot of people don't and they turn off the Wi-Fi they just don't know how to turn it back on so these are the important things of course there's a lot of other functionalities like here there are function keys for playing music advancing to the next song or so there's the screen sharing one uh, so you can share the output with a second screen by pressing here, but pretty much automatic in most cases. But learn what the function key does on your own computer. And for that, you know what? Go to the manufacturer's website. Every manufacturer has a full manual of the laptop, but they don't give it in the box. It's a PDF that you have to download from the website. So you go to Toshiba.com, HP.com, Dell.com, Acer.com, go find your model number. Often it's written uh, under in a, on a sticker under the laptop, and download the manual. and It's going to tell you what the function key and the keys on your keyboard do, and it's going to help you a lot in understanding a little more about your laptop computer. Hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. We'll be happy to help you if we can. So thank you for watching.